Hello lovelies and welcome to another video this weekend. See, I always catch up. I might be behind during the week, but I catch up on the weekends. So this uh, video goes with my uh, Be Arty does, uh, post, blog post, and I will put a link to that in the description below. So basically, um, using the awesome Color Blast by Be Arty stuff, I, I do up um, a project and then I uh, post about it on their blog. But because I like to make videos, I make a video too. And yeah, so I'm starting with the Color Blast inks. Now I'm starting with the colors Calypso and Grass. Now the pictures I'm using um, are of Will and he has this uh, soccer jersey on and I loved the color of it and I wanted to see, this was an actual fluke, but I did really well. I wanted to see if I could make a color similar to that using these two inks. So I started with um, the Calypso Blue and I've put majority of that down. So I just used the dropper and drop it in a few places. And then I added little tiny bits of the grass to it. So to those drops as well. And then I got my water spray bottle, spritzed it and went to town. So this is my favorite way to use these. Actually, I'm going to use these in a few ways in this video. So that'll be interesting for you to see. Um, so I tend to put them on the page and then spray and then let the water do its thing. So I move it around a lot. I add more water. Um, I use my heat gun to blow it around a bit just to, to get a bit of movement and um, to get the, the amount covered that I want. And then in this case, um, I use some paper towel to dab up some of the excess and then, yeah, use my heat gun a lot. Then I've added a few splatters. Just to bring in a bit of texture, I've got um, some white gesso and I have um, used a stencil, which I don't have the name of right now. Hang on, I'll go get it. So this is the A4 stencil called Imprinted and it's from the Posted Airmail collection. This was actually um, from one of the kits one month. So yeah, um, I've just put some white gesso through that stencil and then using the leftover white gesso, I've just added some splatters because I like splatters. So this is another way that I've used those artist inks. So I've gotten out my Dilutions journaling block because basically because of the size. And I've put some of the marine artist ink on the block and then I've added a bit of water and now I'm using it as, uh, as an ink pad basically. Now because it is just liquid, um, it is giving me a very grungy, watercolory, imperfect stamp impression, which is what I was going for. But if you aren't a fan of that look, this is probably not the technique for you. It does take a bit to um, to get used to it because if there's too much ink, you're going to lose completely all of your stamp. So you'll see me tap off onto the block in a few areas um, just to get some of that ink off so I can get a, a good impression. So I'm just using a circle, a circle stamp set. This is an older stamp set. Um, I don't think this is actually available anymore, which is a shame because it's one of my favorites. There's some really great circles on there. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so I've just used them in a few areas and then with my leftover marine artist ink, I have decided to dye some cheesecloth or some muslin, gauze, all the same stuff. And basically I've just wiped up all of what was left on my block with my cheesecloth and that has um, basically tinted that to that colour and I'm going to use that on my layers in my background as well. So this is a, I think this is the third different way we've used it now. So there is lots of different ways you can use these artist inks. And these are, um, yeah, definitely some of my favorites. So these are the photos I'm going with. And one of my photos I trimmed down. So one was a um, Facebook status and the other was a picture my husband took. So these photos, um, Will and my husband went to a Brisbane Raw game. And um, on this game, they wanted some of the uh, Gold Coast mini roos that play soccer, football Gold Coast that play under football Gold Coast. Oh, I'll get the words out eventually. Um, they wanted them to, you know, walk the field and, you know, promoting soccer. This was before all the COVID business. And, um, yeah, they were promoting soccer on the Gold Coast and they were interviewing some of the kids and um, my, my little man got interviewed. And so... Um, this is the picture my husband took and this was the status where the video was. I took a screenshot while the video was playing where Will was uh, there in the middle. So I was able to get a really cool picture. And um, yeah, so I'm gluing that down. So that smaller part with the Facebook status, I've put mounted on some cardboard 
just so I've got some dimension between my two photos. And then um, I have put the cheesecloth underneath my photo. So the way I do it is I put my photo down and then I tuck it under the edges where I like it. And then I'll staple it if I can. If not, because um, if I move the cheesecloth, it's never going to go back to where I want it. Whenever I do layers or anything like that, never goes back the way I like. And so I try and cheat as, pop, as much as I possibly can. And in this case, what I do is I um, use my photo to glue down my cheesecloth. So there's no glue under my cheesecloth. What I've done is I put glue on the back of my photo and then I've slapped that down. I tend to weight it under something heavy and that's going to hold down my cheesecloth. So it's adhering my photo, but also adhering down my, my gauze, my, my cheesecloth, my muslin, whatever I'm using. And um, it also, because I'm not gluing it down completely, it's giving it some movement on the edges and yeah, just a bit of texture. This is where I was very indecisive. I could not decide. There was this gap here. Now I love to use the negative space in my photos, as you can see, because that's where I've mounted the second photo. But I've also got this area here and I thought this would be a great place for a little embellishment. And um, there's some great embellishments from Charms Creations and I couldn't decide if I wanted the star well actually I wasn't sure if I had a star and then I found the chevron I love chevrons um in the end I always if I can't decide I ask my husband so what do you think is better and normally I find whether um his opinion agrees with my own or sometimes I find if I don't like his, his opinion it sort of helps me decide what I like anyway so I've added the star now because I have this star I thought oh I could bring some stars into the background as well so I am again using my artist ink and I have put some of that calypso on my journaling block and I'm going to use a makeup sponge again using it like an ink and I'm going to sponge that through the stencil so it's giving me um it's bringing in the stars somewhere else on my layout, but it's also giving me another use for my artist inks. I didn't even realize when I started this video um, that I was using artist inks in a multiple of ways that I could share with you. So that's a, a happy coincidence. So this is the That Way stencil. This is the A4 stencil. That's what I love about Be Arty and Color Blast. Um, I love the A4 stencils. They're great sizes. So yeah, so I'm bringing in some more of that blue. I've got the two different shades of blue, which I'm really liking because it's just a little subtle difference between uh, the blue in the stars and the circle. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for my page. I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, I'll be back real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.